We made it around two sharp bends, fully loaded, and flashed through into quieter water, feeling very exhilarated by the experience. In the distance, we saw the great high rocks of Lake La Croix in Quetico Park, where the Indian pictographs have been on the rocks for centuries. This artwork was done by some unknown tribe of Indians using natural dyes. It's amazing that these paintings have lasted for so many centuries. front was moving across the lake and we began to search for a landing. As we set up camp we stretched a tarp down from a canoe in the same manner that the voyageurs used to do in setting up their camp. The canoe has turned over the high bow and stern hold it up to provide a roomy shelter beneath. After a long day, strong coffee goes down very well. If you're going to rely on your tools to see you through the trip, then it's a wise voyageur who keeps them in good condition. Finally, the boys roll under their canoe for the night. Another day, and another portage. Their flesh and legging bands were worn to help prevent strangulation hernias, which caused many a fatality to the early voyageurs. under the hot sun, especially when it's combined with the exertion of paddling. So we were fed a daily ration of salt tablets. The canoes formed up close together and paddled down the lake, a friendly competition. Lake Winnipeg and checked the wind. It was blowing at gale force, 40 miles an hour and waves running six feet high. We got two canoes in the water, but they were swamped before they got 200 yards out. The canoes crested a wave with their bows high out of the water. The boys got dunked, but saved their canoes. And we all decided to wait until the wind went down before proceeding. evening for the leg of our trip to Fort Garry, 15 miles up Lake Winnipeg and another 10 miles up the Red River. The fort is the oldest stone-walled trading post in North America, restored some years ago.
The crews were glad to be within sight of the fort. We landed our canoes on the beach, carrying them up to the fort where we were greeted by a couple of redcoats. Here we were met by the commandant of the fort, along with representatives of the Hudson Bay Company, who welcomed us as the first party to reach Lower Fort Gary. Several thousand spectators were on hand to witness the arrival of the brigade, where a great fur trading ceremony was reenacted. There had been hard times during our three-week journey. There were many good times, too. It made me realize how much courage and determination it took when the first voyageurs set out for the West. Hey, let's go. 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 Hey,